Hey guys, uh, Mr. B here again, bringing you another math video. Uh, this one from my classroom, so I apologize for the audio quality if it's a little bit uh, echoing here. Uh, and I'm on my iPad as well, on my lunch break here, making some math videos for you. Um, so, one of the questions uh, that we're doing right now in um, grade 10 is um, solving systems, and one of the skills that you need to be able to do for that is, to, if we're doing it graphically, is to be able to find x and y intercepts of a line that's not in y equals mx plus b form. So, for whatever reason, for the last couple of classes, a few of my students have struggled, so I thought I'd make this video. And really the most important thing you need to remember when you're finding the x and y intercepts of a line, you let x equal 0 solve for y, let y equal 0 solve for x. So to find the x-intercept, what you need to do is let y equal 0. So bus just drove by, so I don't know if you guys heard that or not. Um, so when I let y equal 0, you can see what happens. I get 3x, so my 3x is not touched, plus 6 times 0 is equal to 18. So I can cancel out this part because it's, it's 0. So I'm left with 3x is equal to 18. Then I end up dividing both sides by 3, and I get x is equal to 6. So that's my x-intercept. So recognize that the actual intercept is the point. 6, 0. So it goes right there on the x-axis at 6, 0. So um, to find my y-intercept, I do the opposite. I let x equal 0. So when I let x equal 0, something nice happens. So 3x, oops, 3 times 0, so I'm letting x equal 0, plus 6y is equal to 18. So again, this part goes away because it's 0. Then I'm left with 6y is equal to 18. Then to get y by itself, divide both sides by 6. Then I'm left with y is equal to 3. So that's my y-intercept. So that's the y-intercept. Hopefully I got enough space here. So that's the point 0, 3. x is equal to 0, y is 3. And then x-intercept, x is equal to 6, y is 0. So those that's the really the best method of finding the y and x-intercept. Really the only one I know besides graphically, I guess. Um, so now we can do um, another example, just to make sure you guys get the hang of it. So same type of thing. So we're going to find the x-intercept. So we're going to say y is equal to 0. So I'll left it 2x plus 6 times 0. It's equal to negative 36. And this one's going to cancel out, because that's gone. So once you get good at it, you don't even need to write that part, right? So 2x is equal to negative 36. Divide both sides by 2. 2 is cancel. I'm left with x is equal to negative 18. So I'm at negative 18 and 0. All right, so the next one would be the y-intercept, of course. And I let x equal 0. So I'm left with 2 times 0. Plus 6y is equal to negative 36. Cancel this out. So 6y is equal to negative 36. Divide both sides by 6. y is equal to negative 6. So that's my point here. 0, negative 6. So guys, I hope this video helps you find the x and y intercepts. It has a lot of application solving systems just in your general linear equation unit. So make sure that you practice this. And um, good luck to you. I'll see you guys in class. Take care. What? Thanks for watching.